Alright everybody, <laughs> what is going on guys? What is up? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is just going to be a little bit of story time. And it's not a very old story at all. In fact, it's, it's not even 24 hours old yet. But I thought, you know, with the way that my channel's going recently, I'm pretty open, I'm pretty transparent, and I'm most definitely honest. So, I'm going to talk about something that happened to me last night. This is the first time anything like this has ever happened to me before. I think the title of this video is going to be something like I had a health scare, or I had my first health scare. Because I did. I did. I truly did. I was standing right here last night at 10 o'clock p.m. It's 12.30 p.m. right now, so it was about 12, 14 hours ago. I was standing right here. Recently, I've been under a lot of stress. I have. Not only with this YouTube channel, in life, okay? There's been certain changes in my life, my personal life, that have stressed me the fuck out. Um, I've tried to hide it, I try to be positive, I try to be up when I make these videos, um, and all of that, it, as well as I, I have a, a very heavy caffeine habit. I don't know if I'm addicted, but I'm, I, I'm certainly in a massive habit right now. So every morning I will be drinking coffee. Every, every video that I make, I drink coffee. I drink a lot of coffee, and that means I drink a lot of caffeine, um, which is not good for your heart. And you know, when you do have too much caffeine, you feel your heart pumping. Um, you know, I, I, thinking back, like, it, this, what happened is to do with my heart, okay? Look, I'll talk about all that. I, I just need to tell you what happened. I was standing here, I felt this sudden rush of nauseousness come over me. It started in, my, started in my fingers, it came right up my arms, it came up my stomach, and it was just too much, and I actually collapsed. It was like a, it was a feeling of... The, the, the paramedic that, that came and picked me up and took me to the hospital, he actually mentioned it was, a, it was an overwhelming feeling, and that's exactly what it was. I couldn't put it down to anything. It's nothing I've felt before. So... I actually, I was standing here, it happened, I sort of stepped back over here and I knew that I couldn't stand up any longer, it just got too much and I actually yelled out, I go, ah, I went, ah, you know, just thinking about that, that's scary man, I went, ah, I, 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 I fell backwards and I lay down on the floor for about two minutes and I tried to sit up, I was very, I was confused, um, I was quite sweaty, I felt sick. I felt really sick. I didn't want to stand up because I felt nauseous. And I don't know what happened, but anyways, I, I didn't actually know, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know what was going on. I thought maybe I had a heart attack. Whilst I was lying on the ground, my arm started fucking paining. My arm, like, it was having a sharp pain, like right in the bicep here. And I thought, what the fuck is going on? Am I having a heart attack right now? Like seriously, what is going on? All these things sort of went around in my head. I called out for my mum, who's actually living with us at the moment, thankfully, and um, she came downstairs. I said, look, don't worry, but I've just collapsed. I don't know what's going on. I don't want to stand up right now. I think you should call an ambulance, and that's what she did. So she called an ambulance. They got here about five minutes later. Um, I was coming. I, I was good by that point. I'd, I'd, um, the, the, the sweat from my forehead had gone away. That nauseous feeling had, had faded, and I was okay. I was just lying there, I hadn't moved, I was okay, I was just lying there. Paramedics come in, they do my obs. Um, blood pressure's kinda high. Uh, I tell them that I drink a lot of coffee but nothing crazy today or yesterday. You know, nothing out of the ordinary. I'd, I'd finished my last coffee at about 12.30pm. This happened at 10pm. Um, I did mention that I'd had a couple of sort of sharp pains around my chest over the last couple of weeks. but. Nothing that stayed for any period of time, it would just go away and I'd forget about it. But every time it would happen, I'd think, oh, what's, what's going on there? The biggest coincidence of it all is that yesterday, I did a first aid training. I did a full day, 8 till 4, I did first aid training. We did CPR, we did defibrilla defibrillation, we talked about heart attacks, we talked about strokes, we talked about everything. And then for something like this to happen that night, you know, it... Jeez, my head was swimming, I didn't know what was happening. Anyways, I went to the hospital. And they hooked me up to, to a, a cardio, echocardiogram. I think they gave me a, a couple of those. And determined that I had a, a very irregular heartbeat. So I had something, what they call it, atrial flutter. 
that was my diagnosis. Um, they don't know whether I've had it for a while. Um, they don't know whether it just started after I had this collapsing episode. I don't know. But anyways, when they did hook me up at the hospital to this echocardiogram, ECG, um, and then obviously just monitored my pulse and my, my heart rate, it was, I could see it. I could see it right in front of me. Usually you go, dit, 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 dit. Well, this was, dit, 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 dit. Da, 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 like, and, and I'm looking at this, sitting there, watching my pulse, feeling it in my heart and seeing it on the screen and thinking, fucking hell, why is my heart not working properly? Why is it not in sync? And they, basically from what I told them, you know, from the way I've been feeling beforehand, I was feeling okay, nothing, nothing crazy, I'd never collapsed before. They determined that this atrial flutter had started or had, you know, basically come on after that had happened. So what they did, they gave me two options. Either I go under sedation. This, this is literally like a half an hour after it happened. I was in the hospital, I was all hooked up. They were telling me, shit, you've got an irregular heartbeat. This is what you can do. Okay, you can either take a pill, stay overnight, or you can take this other option. We're gonna put you to sleep right now. We're gonna hook you up, put you to sleep, and give you an electric shock to get your heart rate, to get your heart beat back in rhythm. So I was told basically I was going to be I was going to be put under anesthetic right there and then and have a freaking you know like you see in the movies man literally my body would have gone Ooh, like that when they shocked me. Anyways, I ended up doing it. I said, "Yeah, okay, let's do it." I was scared, man. So my pulse was at about 80 beats per minute. Once they got me hooked up, once they said, "Right, they put the IV in, they said, "Right, we're going to put you to sleep now, my heart rate went from 80 to 160 instantly. Everything was beeping, it was fucking beeping saying why is his heart rate going so fast? I freaked the fuck out. I freaked out. I had what's called a panic attack, I suppose. Just before they said I was going to go to sleep, I was like, what if they shock me and it doesn't work? What if they do something wrong and I have a full on heart attack right now? What if I never wake up? You know, all this shit just went through my mind, and this is stuff I'd had to compress and, and deal with only in half an hour beforehand. So, look, the last thing I remember is my heart is looking at that heart rate machine and seeing my heart rate at 160 beats per minute. It was flashing. I could feel it in my in my chest. It was boom, boom, boom. It was fucking huge. Next minute, 10 minutes later, well, not next minute, but 10 minutes later, I woke up. I looked up at the screen, and my heart was going dirt. Dip, 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 and it was back in rhythm. Apparently, they had they had shocked me with 50 joules of electrical current, and it didn't work. So they upped it to 70, and it did work. So they shocked me twice, got my heart back in rhythm, and they did say, you know, you should be feeling better now. You should be feeling more relaxed, you know, less anxious. And lo and behold, I, I sat there and I, I thought about it, and I couldn't feel any beating in my chest anymore. There was no irregular heartbeat. I felt okay. So the treatment worked. <laughs> so, geez, you know, it's, it's scary. I don't know. I didn't have a heart attack. I, I think atrial flutter or a, a, you know, a, a, an irregular heartbeat is quite common, but not in someone as young as me, basically. So I'm just going to have to watch myself. They've, they've booked me in for a, another ECG um, in a month. So obviously it's, you know, it's, it's, it's not going to require too much care. It's just a matter of me being careful. It's a matter of me controlling my caffeine intake. It's a matter of me just being in tune with my body, you know, knowing if something's up. Um, you know, truth be told, I've been going through episodes of, of dizziness when I get up too fast. You know, um, depending on how much I've eaten that day, if I've eaten not a lot, I guess my blood sugars are quite low, that can cause that. But some days it was happening when I was eating a lot. And, you know, I'd, I'd really have to catch myself as I get up. I, I'd get up and I'd know that this feeling of, of you know, faint, faintness is going to come. And it does come. It sort of comes slowly and then it comes and then I'm just, I'm holding myself and then, then it's gone and I'm alright. But, um, you know, once, 
that's, that's something I wasn't really thinking about, I wasn't taking notice of. But after something like this happens, you do start to take notice of that and you're like, well, what, what has happened? You know, were there any warning signs? How long did I have this atrial flutter for? Did it actually just start last night? I doubt whether it did. Honestly doubt whether it did. So, um, I guess, yeah, that's about it. This is just an update on, on, on how I'm doing. I'm okay. I'm here. But last night, it all just happened really quickly. And I definitely had a, had a panic attack in the hospital bed. And I got checked out at about 2.30 and um, went to work this morning at 8. At 8. And I'm back, back home at 12.30 for my lunch break which is half an hour, and I'm making this video. So I've got this piece of paper here, I'll read it out for you. Jacob was brought in by ambulance with a symptomatic irregular heart rhythm. Palpitations and unease. Systematically well, systemically well, on examination he had an irregular strong pulse, BP normal, normal electrolytes, decision made to cardiovert, given. Cardiovert, that's what they did. Decision made to cardiovert given clear onset of symptoms. So they're saying that they think the irregular heartbeat you know, came on after this collapsing episode that I had. In which case they want to treat it as fast as possible. So they successfully synchronized the cardioversion in ED under sedation, observed for a couple of hours afterwards and remained asymptomatic. We have referred him for a non-urgent outpatient echocardiogram with the result to be copied to his GP. If there is any evidence of a structural cardi cardiac abnormality, GP could consider outpatient cardiology referral. Advise patient to reduce his caffeine intake in case this is a contributing factor. So basically they're saying we're going to do another echocardiogram if there's any evidence of structural abnormality in my heart, which they didn't test, they didn't do a, a, an ultrasound yesterday so they're going to do that and um, I guess if there's any abnormalities they'll pick them up there but for the next month it's basically just monitoring things and being or being being careful man being being sensible you know trying not to stress myself out too much I guess I would say you know don't go too hard in the gym but I've only been I've only been training in the gym the only training I've been doing is cardio down at the field and you've seen all that So I don't know, man. I don't know. But that was an update on my first ever health scare. It really was. It was a scare. It's not something I'd wish on anyone. But I think people do collapse from time to time. People do faint. I didn't go unconscious, you know. So that's something. But I was certainly confused after it happened a little bit and I was quite, I was quite sick. I felt sick. So I don't know what happened, man. My, my body malfunctioned in some way. But, uh, you know, I just hope that if you watch this, you get something out of it. I hope that, you know, I don't hope for anything. I just wanted to make this video. Just wanted to talk about it. So with that said, guys, I'm not even going to ask you to like it. Just, just know I'm here. And we all go through things, and this is just the latest thing that I'm going through. And like I said at the start, my personal life is it's pretty terrible right now. So I've got to work on that. I'll be seeing you. Peace, guys.